You talk about certain visualizations throughout the book that people can use in moments of stress. The one that I find most useful is the heart practice, for example. Could you explain that a little bit? Uh, create an atmosphere of peace, whatever inspires you, and then you invoke in the sky before you the embodiment of uh, the truth, whichever that may be for you. If you're a Buddhist practitioner, if that's the Buddha, uh, if you're a Christian practitioner, maybe uh, the Christ or whatever figure is really inspires you, you invoke that. And if you relate to a form, then you can, that particular form, in a sense, inspires you. Like, for example, for myself, when I look at the image of the photograph of my masters, it really inspires me very much. So that if an image of Buddha or a Christ or that image actually it kind of inspires you, then by all means, please use. But if not, if you cannot relate to a form, then you can just think of the embodiment of truth, embodiment of the truth in the form of light in the sky before you. And in the presence of this, you ask for purification. You open your heart with whatever sorrow that you really, you cry out for help. I think one thing I notice that people do not do is to really ask for help when they really, I mean, in fact, the saying of Christ, ask and you shall be given, and the sick in the door shall be opened to you. That really, truly asking to open your heart I did this also when I first came to the West, you know, when I first started teaching. Things are not easy for me. And so, and whenever I had really great difficulty, I used to open my heart and invoke my masters, the Buddhas, and really open my heart. And what was quite extraordinary is it really helped to transform the suffering, the difficulty, which might have been otherwise an obstacle, a blockage, was now used as a kind of a source of uh, development and transformation.